Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, June 4th, for the North American Open. We've been buying euros today. Uh, boons come off from the open. We're around 160, 150 to a low of 160.87. As long as we're below 161, the figure, this pattern here in, in euro dollar, this sort of head and shoulders pattern, this is the hourly. So think of this as one shoulder, this big head, this one shoulder. Look at it on the four hourlies, a little bit clearer. The neckline's at 10. Uh, as long as boons stay below 161, the figure, this is in play. If we do close above 10 today, this this is a pretty important pattern. The distance from the top of the head to the neckline is around 200 points. Um, so, is Euro dollar going to go up 200 points? Certainly doesn't seem like it, but I'll tell you what, the market short euros. All of the news flow is negative euro. If it does go higher, people are going to get caught. And we all know that this is kind of how FX works. People getting caught. So, we're long a lot, tiny bit of euro dollar. We're also still short euro sterling, which makes us effectively long cable. Uh, cable's been pretty big today, so we're okay with this. Again, doesn't make any sense, but cable looks like it kind of wants to break out here. If you look at the we almost bullish engulfed on Friday. Now we've had another up day. Again, market short sterling. Based on the news flow and based on the leadership, of course, they should be short sterling. But is the FX market going to screw all the FX participants? As always, probably. So why not? Long euros, long cable, short euro sterling. It's kind of a double long cable, but we're trading these with professional stops that are in. You need professional stops these day and age because it's we're always one headline away from euro dropping 80 ticks. Um, so just have your stop at 117.08 or 116.98 some professional spot if you're going to be long euros don't just don't just sit there and hope because if it gets back below the figure today there's probably something wrong or there's some bad news or something so keep it tidy keep it professional people what else we got uh, dollar cad and cad yen these were two focuses this morning dollar cad did what we wanted it to do through 30 uh, worked we just grabbed cash here because we were very cautious of this 130 the figure um, support. But we're long CAD yen. Uh, when this risk on atmosphere, we think CAD yen is going to work. I mean, it hasn't really done much. But we're core long here. We'll kill this uh, if we get below 70. But we're, we're core long at 76 really kind of a secondary position today. We're focusing a lot more on this euro dollar and euro sterling. Um, but CAD yen looks pretty good. Take a look at the dailies and all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, look at that. This sort of 84.96, 84.97. So just to be tidy, uh, close, close above 85, the figure is quite bullish today. Uh, we've got to be mindful that we're four, four tenths of a percent up already, um, and you got to be mindful for news flow. So as ever, be careful. Being long risk right now. This looks like the correct trade, but just be careful. We got trade bullshit from Trump. We got Chinese bullshit against Trump. We got Europeans with their hair on fire. All kinds of good stuff going on out there today. And yet, we're risk on. So, let's see how we do on this. Uh, equities, we don't have a trade there. We're just watching it as a proxy, of course. Looks like we're breaking up above this sort of 43 level. Nothing decisive yet, but we shall see. 
And with that, I will just wish you all good luck on this June 4, Monday, 2018. Have fun today, make some money, and I will see you guys tomorrow.